Hey everybody, it's John O-Man Outdoors, and from time to time, somebody will comment about how do I like my little boat, uh, my little plastic boat, and what are some things that maybe you would do different? Well, I'm going to show you a few things here. There's not many, but there's a couple of things on here, maybe three or four things, that if I had to do over again, I don't know that I would have done, not that they've been a bad improvement, but maybe there was a better way to do it. Now, the first thing I'll say is, you're going to, if, if you're in the market for one of these boats, you're going to be so anxious to get all the modifications done, uh, do a bunch of different things, buy a bunch of things for it. So was I. And there are a lot of people online that already have the boats that say, well, wait, take it out a little bit and, uh, you know, try it and then put on there what you want to do. If I had to do all over again, that's exactly what I would have done. I was the person, like many others, I bought the boat before I started in the water the first time. I started putting this on, that on, this on, and this on. And at the end of the day, it's not that they were bad, but there was a better way to do it. So let me show you some of those things that I would change or perhaps do differently after I have used this little boat right here for over a year. Let's take a look. Now I know it's a small thing, but it's a little thing that does bother me. Uh, I wish I had done a lot better job of cleaning the boat off before I started putting these stickers and numbers on it. There, this thing is just notorious uh, for numbers and so forth falling off of it. Now, the first thing somebody's going to leave in a comment, yeah, but you got your uh, number in the uh, in the video. Well, you know, everywhere I carry this boat, people see that number. I carry it up down the highway, people look at that number. When I'm on the lake, people on the lake see that number. So it, it doesn't bother me. I don't have to cut it out because everybody who wants to see the thing can see it. But anyway that's that the numbers i wish i'd have spent more time uh, cleaning off the area for the numbers now let's talk about some other things that i would do differently now right here are two things i do differently in this picture one thing i do differently i would not have this metal ruler up here like this i much prefer this ruler right here or this measure that you have the problem with this measure here is and i've, I've had another video uh, if you have one of these metal fish rulers on your boat and it's in the middle of summertime and you put a fish on that thing the next thing you're going to hear is a sizzle and you're going to damage that fish it's, it's that fish is going to be hurt and damaged really bad so i don't use this right here if i were going to use it uh, i would make sure that i dip it in the water before i do but what i've done is gone to this style here now the next thing you're going to say well you put holes in it what are you going to do putting holes now, whatever you do to your boat that's up to you but i don't mind at all putting a hole in my boat screw things down it's a, it's a, it's best way it's the most economical way i'm not overly concerned about the warranty i don't figure they're going to do anything about the warranty anyway what i'll do is when i take this up i'll just simply put that screw back in it put a little silicone on the bottom of it and i'll just go my merry way so that's how I feel about screws and boats. I don't hesitate a bit doing it. Now, the anchor works really well. I have a separate video on this. This is a Lowe's retractable clothesline anchor bought off Lowe's. And the anchor that I'm using is one of those little Walmart anchors and it works okay. If I were to do it differently, I would not have put this in the middle of the boat. You can see where it is right there. It's in the middle. I would have put it at one end or the other. Uh, all this has a tendency to do here is just spin and it doesn't uh, do. So I would move this uh, one end or the other, or ideally, I'd have a, a trolley system on it, which is probably going to be one of the next things I do is put a trolley system where I can move the anchor point front or back. So that's one thing right there that I would definitely change. Now let's go look at some other things. Now I did a whole video on installing these drain plugs because that looked like what all the cool kids were doing and putting in the drain plugs. Now, I don't have any regret as far as putting them in. They don't leak. Well, I say they don't leak. They did leak a little bit when I first put them in, but it was my fault. I just did not have them tight enough. And then I put just a little bit of Vaseline on the O-ring and I've had no problem since then. The issue, would I, would I do it again? I probably wouldn't do that again because this boat does not take on water. I'd read all the horror stories about, you know, how, how water get in and you're gonna need that. But the issue is I don't get water in the boat. And if I did, I've got two holes in the front of it. I can just uh, turn up towards the front and get them out so I'm, i've not found any need for those and plus uh, even though it's not giving any problem yet now i got two big holes in the bottom of the boat that i cannot fill now, up the next thing i probably would not do is put that uh, paddle holder in there like that with those pvc clamps i do have a video on how to do that that's just a heated up pvc pipe uh, made into a u-shape and screwed onto the edge of the boat now it does work good in theory you can see it's up there right now the issue is when you need a paddle it's kind of I don't know, I'm not, it's not difficult to get to, but it's a little inconvenient. I much prefer to put it on the gunnel on the side of the boat. 
uh, where I have it handy at any time I need it. Uh, most of the time I need it is getting in and out of the boat on the shore uh, for kind of stabilizing me in the boat, and uh, it's just a little bit inconvenient. It's not bad, but I wouldn't do it there but again. at the end of the day, I got to tell you, I'm very happy with this boat. Highly recommend it. I have had big bass boats, little bitty aluminum boats. I fished out of kayaks. I fished out of canoes. I've owned all those. And every one of those is not for everybody. And they have a unique group. But as far as my fishing, the little bass raider or the equivalent style uh, would fits me better than any boat that I have ever owned. Uh, so yeah, I made a few things. And my encouragement to you is, is try it a little bit, listen to the people who've had them, go out and try it, and then make the modifications that make sense for you. After all, it is your boat. Anyway, I hope you got a few ideas off that or maybe some things to consider. Anyway, from the Upper East Side of Texas, I want you to get out and enjoy God's great outdoors, and we'll see you on the next video.